Hey lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of Batman the Telltale Series. <gasps> Is that Zaz? You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Please tell me they could tell he was drugged. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. <clears throat> For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. The doctor's making the round soon. Doctor? What doctor? D Can they not see the freaking veins in her arms? Do they not know? Like, hello? <sighs> oh my god, that's a lot of blood on there. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Can I look at this blood stain? Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Arkham Asylum. Oh, this can't be happening. I don't know if I should put the probably should put this on first before I try to walk out there. This can't be real. So now it's like, are we hallucinating now, or is this? I mean, I think this is actually happening. Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. What the fuck? As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. Oh, God. Jack is fucking with us big time. Feel good? You like this? The welcoming committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the? Churlish. Not nice. How do you like it? You are pathetic. Who? <gasps> oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. 
More like the opposite. What would that be? I... Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? I'm so confused What's going on in here? <laughs> Like I told you, Doctor, these creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Oh, fuck. Go on, tell her. I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. It seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. Is no one wondering why- I'll do my best to keep you safe. Black veins in I her arm. I need you to be careful. Like, <sighs> nobody's Us looking nice at that. nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. What the actual fuck? <laughs> First of all, where's Gordon? He knows John fucking people have been poisoned. Patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. For There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> hey, Doc. Our last session was so enlightening. Well, that's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get attacked right now? I can't taste anything! I want a taste! I'm like, the game is forcing me towards- careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Pushing me towards this open little door window. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> you remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leila? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patients. No, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. They're Come trying on. to kill me! You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> then stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. So we don't get Wrong to call our lawyer. John. We don't get to call family. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care. <laughs> this is definitely a different take on the uh, Joker Bats relationship. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. Watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This 
is Arkham! <gasps> is that Zaz? Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, petty usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! The remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? That looked like Zaz. Billy? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Okay. If that's the way the cookie crumbles. Crumbles. Cookie. It is! Cookie crumbs. That's it. <laughs> yes, I cracked it. <laughs> shh, shh. Lewis. I swear, if you don't shut up, I will come over there and shut you up. I saw. I don't know why we had to take the long you. way around the pole. <laughs> Bruce Wayne, you've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. So what's the deal with that? I mean, well, I already know, but we need to get the lore here. was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. Mm. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I don't need to talk to you anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't want to go Batman talk to him. I really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. Why? Why? No, no reason. This no cabinet reason. is definitely not for this key. Lewis! That wasn't me. I, I, I'm sane, Lewis. And, and that was... <laughs> that was crazy, Lewis. You see? <laughs> hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't... It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. What a caring staff they have here. What's that? They genuinely want to help us out, huh? Polite at all. At all. Should I try to use the key? I know it's not for this, but I kind of feel like I need to interact with it for the last just to see what happens. Not the right key for this. I love when no one cared they were trying to break into this cabinet. Should we go for it? I'm doubting the key goes to this either, but we're gonna try. Hmm. The key well, looks too key old. Fit. What the hell is it for? Am 
When are we going to find out that John Doe's the Joker? We can... Arnold Wesker. I know that Hello. name. Hello? Go away! Arnold's... Busy. Oh, is he the, um... The I puppeteer swear, guy? If the... You bother him, I will gut you. The one who had the marionette puppet? What can you tell me about, uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah, nothing. Okay, that's weird. I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> Your key, it didn't work. Of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. What a shithead! Two-faced, I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. How? Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Copplepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I feel like I'm going to feed into this Ooh, so that he gives me info. I'd love if he to thinks see I'm that. like I'll find a way to take her down. But oh, I'm I doing he's gonna it be... my way. Quietly. Oh, I thought it was going to be a little bit more fiery. Little Bruce lurking in the shadows. Though I think we both know you could do more. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. 
And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. I was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It seems He's probably not wrong about that. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. So in this universe, does he know that we're back? Drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Don't try to make this about me. Of course, it's about you, Bruce. This is all about you. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. Uh, I can... Assume I can take care of that. It's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? I'm not doing any do favors for you, John. I can't do that. And here I thought we were getting along so well. We can keep working on our friendship when we meet again, can't we? All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. So are we still gonna owe him a favor, though? Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? No! No, 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 I don't match anymore. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! The skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Oh, my God, that poor guy. Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Way to make it obvious. Call <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>, security! <laughs> GCBD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Huh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. 
Could we have saved that guy? Oh, Bruce, I have not had this much fun in I feel ages. so bad for him. I just assumed if I went over there, like, tell you I wasn't going to be able to Vicky's fuck. I stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're going to put on quite a show. I guess I still just don't understand. I know Pretty that... Pretty seen in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Oh. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. I want to get my thoughts, but I don't Seems want to cut you them have off. a visitor. <gasps> Bruce, thank heavens you're all right. You'll see everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah, I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Bitch! Let's go, Alfred. I just, okay, so I know Dent put us in here. I get that part. But the fact that I no will one- see you on the outside, Bruce. <laughs> I can't wait. What's that about? <laughs> no one in any of the footage saw our crazy veins and was like, hmm, maybe this is the same poison that has been going around the Gotham. Maybe this is the same poison that made one of our police officers shoot someone. Well, maybe this is the same poison that... I believe that Lady Arkham I, I... was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. How's Even that gonna work? Batman's Still in our brief system. Hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne. Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Is that a threat? figure that out. Eventually. But by then it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> that a was a shitty thing to do. Have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. That isn't how I wanted things to go down either, Harvey. 
that I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this ridiculous crusade against me. I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. How long until these drugs are out of our system? I feel like we can't be bats with these drugs in, because we're going to do some shit if we... Well, what's going on here? Oh, they're gonna find some trumped-up charge to arrest us on. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Got it, Alfred. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? I'm tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job! Bruce, shut up, Alfred, I can handle this! That is Someone not what else I heard said! That, right? This psycho just threatened me! <sighs> yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I. Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? What the fuck? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back off, back off, people! We have the money, why Here. the fuck not? It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Take it up with City Hall. I say we just fucking leave Gotham. Let it sort itself out. Bye. You don't want me here? Okay. See how you do without me. Oh my God, this is fucking insanity. This is insanity. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Funny, I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but not worth dying for. Clearly, the sex was not good enough. <laughs> He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? I, uh, I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, I just said the same thing, so. In my heart right now. So where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. I mean, we should just- we should just leave, too. <laughs> See you around. Come back Good in a couple years. All of this. 
let it sort itself out for a little while. We'll come back and pick up the pieces, and then everyone will be like, thank God Batman's back! Let them think Bruce Wayne was arrested. I'm fine, Batman will okay. just disappear. It'll be fine. I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. May? You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. I feel like you being absolutely a... must get some rest. I don't have time for rest. You'll be no good to anyone if you can barely keep your feet under you. Okay, he's not wrong about You're that. Right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. Yes, of course. If I, I can like... isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I feel like being behind a computer is the best I'll spot for us. Preparations. Right now? Because then we can't hurt anybody. Like, we might see something that will trigger us and send us into a frenzy, but all we'll do is, like, smash the computer. We won't actually smash someone's face in, which, you know, as cathartic as that would be, probably not the best right now. All right. My reputation has been ruined and my name is worthless, but somehow Alfred remains dignified despite all the mudslinging. I thought my emotional core was a was at was as bulletproof as they come, but Alfred has shown me that he's even stronger. He was there to deliver me from the nightmare of Arkham Asylum without so much as a raised eyebrow, and I'm forever grateful. We love Alfred. My money helped him my money helped get him there. But now I have to admit that Gotham City has a monster in the mayor's office. He's become a distorted version of the Harvey I used to know, twisting his crusade against crime into an excuse for authoritarian tactics. He's also declared war on Bruce Wayne, signing the order committing me to Arkham Asylum and stealing credit for defeating the children of Arkham's plans. In his heart, he may want to save Gotham from crime, but his brutish so-called enforcement squads are only making things worse. I'll have to confront him sooner rather than later. I can't even begin to imagine the terrible things Oswald is doing to Wayne Enterprises now that he's CEO. For generations, my family has worked to make it a company worth admiring, and he's going to corrupt it into something horrific. More than anything, he can't be allowed to discover my secret technologies. The savage beating I gave him at the press conference should keep him distracted long enough for me to come up with a plan to deal with him. So I don't think that Joker was wrong about the toxin making you do like your deep-seated feelings but thinking something and doing something are completely different so that still doesn't mean Bruce is bad or Bats is bad like we could want to beat the shit out of him and refrain and still be a good person <laughs> I thought I could handle everything on my own but Jim Gordon has proven me wrong if it wasn't for him I would still be rotting away in Arkham Asylum instead I'm back on the streets no matter what happens between us personally I have to remember that Gordon always stands up for what's right that he does Vicky Vale, as I thought I knew her, is gone. She has ceased to exist. Her real name is Victoria Arkham, but I guess she prefers to be called Lady Arkham. She's been right there in front of me this whole time, and somehow I failed to see it. How? She manipulated me and tried to ruin me and came too close to succeeding. It was a sloppy mistake that I can't afford to let happen again, but that ends now. First thing I need to do is track down her supply of that mind-altering drug and destroy it. I think first thing we need to do is find an antidote to the drug. <laughs> She's known as Lady Arkham among her followers, but now I know her real name, Victoria Arkham. Her Vicky Vale, pers Vicky vale persona seems to be gone forever. I can't believe I let her into my home. I can't believe I never figured out who she was or what she was doing. But now that I know, there's nothing that will stop me from taking her and her followers down. Mm -hmm. Ever since I stopped their plot to spray the citizens of Arkham with their drug, the children of Arkham have been quiet. If I hadn't been in Arkham, I would have immediately tracked them all down, but it seems Mayor Dent has taken up the fight in my absence. He'll crush them and anyone who tries to stand up to his authoritarian tactics. I will say in that regard, he's probably a good fit for Gotham right now. 
Because <laughs> obviously he's too cocoa short of too cuckoo short of a cocoa puff. That worked better in my head, but you know what I mean. Um, but he. He uh, he does care about Arkham or Gotham, and he will destroy the children of Arkham if he has the chance. So, <laughs> and that respect is probably good. My time at Arkham was short, but one patient in particular left a big impression on me. I didn't catch his name, but I won't forget his face or his laugh. He's like some kind of creepy circus clown. He gave me invaluable assistance in uncovering Vicky's true identity in her missing drug stash, but there's something about him so unsettling I couldn't bring myself to agree to granting him a favor. Yes, I would have been an Yes, it would have been an empty promise, but the very idea of owing him anything is not a pleasant thought. No, it is not. Wayne Enterprises is a corporate conglomerate, and Wayne Tech handles our telecommunications branch through phones, computers, and other technological devices. Lucius built a backdoor into the Wayne Tech system for Batman so I could monitor the city and keep Gotham safe, but the children of Arkham have found a way to access the same information, and while they can't spy on Batman, it won't stop them from spying on the rest of the city. I used to walk through the front doors of Wayne Enterprises Tower with pride. I can't do that any longer. Not since I was ousted from the CEO seat and replaced by Oswald Cobblepot, who seems to be transforming my family business into something unrecognizable, even as I write this. What's his end goal? I don't know. But I have to put a stop to it before everything my parents worked for, the good things they worked for, are damaged beyond repair. I knew when I wrote the check for a new hospital that Gotham needed a better mental health care facility, but it wasn't until I became a patient at Arkham that I saw firsthand just how dire the situation is. There's a guy with a homicidal sock puppet and a man named Zaz who covered, who's covered in tally mark scars of each of his victims. Then there's John Doe. I don't know who they are or what they did to get in there, but we have to make sure they never, ever walk free. Well, we know that's not going to happen. Mayor Dent's war on the children of Arkham has turned Gotham into a more dangerous place than it was before. His enforcement squads aren't going to make Gotham safe. They're going to turn it into a police state. I think they already have succeeded in doing that. I don't know if I want to read this newsfeed. Mayor Dent's private security, praises, private security raises concerns. Newly elected Gotham Mayor Harvey Dent has barely moved into City Hall, but it's already apparent this administration will be quite different than the last. Look no further than the mayor's recently appointed private security team manning checkpoints throughout the city. Though a spokesperson for the mayor says the checkpoints have been set up in the interests of public safety, they declined to say where the newly hired officers come from. One thing's for sure, however, and that's chain of command. There's new officers report directly to Mayor Bent. Mayor? Mayor Bent? Mayor Dent. Mayor Dent ran as a law and order candidate, and with these new with these new and checkpoints, I'm assuming these new and approved checkpoints, Gotham will see that promise enacted, for better or worse. Really reminds me of Spider-Man. Wayne out of Arkham in less than 48 hours. Gotham's most famous billionaire inmate barely had time to warm up his bunk at Arkham Asylum before he walked out the front doors a free man. Bruce Wayne was arrested two days ago after assaulting incoming Wayne Enterprises CEO Oswald Cobblepot at a press conference on the steps of the Wayne Building. The press conference was called after an emergency vote by the board of Wayne Enterprises to remove Wayne as CEO, citing recent troubling revel revelations about the Wayne family. Many felt his erratic behavior would lead to an extended stay in Gotham's notorious mental health facility, but less than 48 hours after being admitted, Wayne's release was secured by the Gotham City Police Department. Department officials had no comment on the matter. Mayor claims credit for drop in COA crime. While the GCPD's newly released crime statistics show an overall rise in violent crime across Gotham, the number of incidents involving the so-called Children of Arkham have dropped since the mayor's self-appointed enforcement squads have taken to the streets. In a fiery speech on the steps of City Hall, Mayor Harvey Dent took credit for the reduction in COA activity, claiming that the streets of Gotham would be lost without his personal leadership. However, Mayor Dent is not without his critics. Civil liberties activists issued a statement calling Mayor Dent's new policies militaristic and bordering on fascist. The statement also blamed Dent for overall rising crime, suggesting that the mayor's enforcement squads contributed to a growing climate of chaos, of fear, in, of chaos? Wow, there is a lot of typos in this. 
contributed to a growing climate of chaos and fear in Gotham. Missing Gazette reporter may be COA kidnapping. Really, no one else is going to put that together? We have Lady of Gotham and then some very prolific lady goes missing and we're not going to put those together? Sometimes if you don't want to see something, you're not going to see it. Gotham City Police now believe that missing Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale may have been kidnapped by the self-proclaimed -pro leader of the Children of Ark. Come on! In a video statement released late last night on the internet, the mysterious leader claimed to have kidnapped Vale, as well as taking responsibility for a number of criminal acts, including thefts and targeted violence throughout the city. All right, well, I guess that explains it then. No motive for the kidnapping was given, although most assume that some or all of Vale's journalism must have provoked the objection. The GCPD has urged staff at all major Gotham media outlets to use caution and consider additional security measures. GCPD officer linked to Falcone killing returns to the force. Rene Montoya, the GCPD officer who allegedly shot mob boss Carmine Falcone, returned to duty this week after the GCPD Office of Internal Affairs dropped the investigation. The department found that Sergeant Montoya was not responsible for her actions after finding evidence that she had been drugged against her will with a powerful mind-altering substance. Her assailant has yet to be identified, although police suspect that the children of Arkham are involved. The scandal around the Falcone killing continues to be the subject of intense interest and speculation amid reports that billionaire Bruce Wayne offered to testify in Montoya's defense. It is unknown what, if any, relationship exists between Wayne and Sergeant Montoya. The GCPD continues to investigate a shootout involving Montoya while she was on administrative leave following the Falcone killing. The GCPD refused to comment on Montoya's involvement, however, the district attorney's office told Gazette reports that Sergeant Montoya isn't suspected of any wrongdoing. Okay, cool. Um, let's look at our clean DNA. Here's my DNA. Now Before that we read through all of that. <laughs> Can I click on these? No. I wanted this to be this like a puzzly thing. This is a fine sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Okay. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure... It's based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. But we don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Nice. Didn't really know what I was doing at first, but I figured I it out. <laughs> should do it. <laughs> Sorry. Dr. Pepper Brick. After all that reading, I was parched. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Probably not. Okay, that wasn't bad. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman! Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I never trusted her. It was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, 
She may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No, but Offense I've got nothing intended else. toward your recent time there, of course. No, I absolutely don't trust him. The man is psychotic. Wonderful. Well, let's try to steer clear of him in the future, shall we? He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. Is our suit, um, it's bulletproof, so it would be needleproof too, right? <laughs> Maybe we should put a gas mask on just in case she has the spray version. Hello? Well, this isn't good. I'm inside the Vale House. Is that blood on there? Oh no. Maybe we should call the cops. Are her eyes missing? Alfred? Oh, she was injected. The Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. <laughs> She's... Just gets worse and worse. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Mm-hmm. Makes me wonder if they did something to her. Like, were they abusive? Or Because clearly they're, like, her adopted parents and not... I don't know why I can't actually search this. What? There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. That's disgusting. Okay, we're gonna link this to her neck wound. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. What's going on with our tech? Is our suit damaged? Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. What was the logo? Mr. Vale's company. Okay, where is Mr. Vale? Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. I think the lamp or the vase or something over here had blood on it when we first walked in. I feel like if it was a vase it would have broken, but... It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. They're probably abusive or something. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. I thought there was a vase with blood on it over here. Hmm. Okay, guess not. <laughs> Flourish. It's clean. 
This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Whose hair is it? Did the knife cut the hair? Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. Oil? The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna link the belt buckle to the wall. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. And then should we link this photo to the paperwork? to the logo on his, I can't turn, <laughs> on his jacket. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. That makes sense. All right, and then I'm assuming that the hair must link to this knife. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After nice. we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose, nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred. I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. I mean, it's probably the kid, right? Clear. Nothing here. And she's definitely spiraling. I think he'd probably be upstairs, but we're going to search everywhere just in case. Anything? No. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. 
He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Hey, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Y yeah I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Don't send me to punishment? What the fuck were they doing to these kids? Get down. Ah. Oh, shit, wrong button. <laughs> Nice work, kid. <gasps> Our next little Robin? They're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. He honestly doesn't seem that upset. He just seemed shocked. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my God. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? That boy was the Vale's adopted son. According to the papers I found, they were receiving a pretty significant stipend. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again.
All right, guys, unfortunately, I do have to stop there. Um, so, oh God, the whole Arkham thing was crazy. I stand by my frustration that nobody, nobody questioned the fact that he was poisoned. Nobody, I, I don't, I don't get that. Obviously, Gordon got us out as soon as we were able to contact him, but the fact that nobody realized that sooner is just like, come on now, come on now. Um, Vicky Vale is clearly spiraling. Uh, <laughs> I do feel like there was some sort of abuse or something going on in that household, though, especially after what the uh, foster son said about please don't send me to punishment. Like, what the, f what the fuck? Um, so that makes me almost wonder if that key that we got from Joker leads to whatever that punishment area is. Um, maybe it's like... I don't know, a, not like a bunker. I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like that has to be connected somehow. He told us to look into the veils, which makes me think there has to be something with them for the key. Um, and the Joker, I don't know. He's not my favorite Joker in this. I don't know. His look, I think, okay, so I think the reason why is his look reminds me of, if you played The Witcher 3, you guys know, I forget what they're called. They're like the little kids that are like the the monster kids with the big eyes. Um, the I, There's one that's like haunting a house that you find. And then there's one where somebody steals his voice and you have to help him get his voice back. The Joker looked like one of them. <laughs> so I think that's probably why his character is not my favorite version of the Joker in terms of looks and and voice performance is not my favorite. Not that it's bad by any means. I'm not trying to say that at all. Obviously, everybody is super talented in these games. It's just not my favorite of the Jokers that I have experienced, sorry, thus far. Um, but that might change as I encounter him more. And I'm also wondering, does he know that Bruce is bats? Because it really seemed like he did. And if he did, that's definitely an interesting take on the story because I'm not aware of any other Batman story where the Joker knows who Batman is, and he doesn't want to know who Jack, who, who Jack, who Batman is, um, in some of the stories that I'm familiar with. So that would be really interesting. Uh, he definitely seems to know a lot more about Arkham and Gotham than he seems to in other iterations of what I know him from. So definitely curious to learn more about that story arc for sure even though like i don't necessarily love the portrayal of the character in terms of looks um that's definitely interesting so <laughs> the game is definitely still frustrating in terms of i feel really bad for bruce and it's breaking my heart and i hate it but it's definitely a very good story and i like that it's so unique compared to anything else um because i really just have no idea what's ever going to happen because no idea ever what's going to happen. I don't know. I can't talk anymore um, because it's just so different than anything else. So I do love that aspect of it uh, and I'm definitely excited to keep playing. I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.